Okay, hi and welcome to the second part of the 2014 section C, uh, question four uh, question. So this is the second part, this is the CAM section. So a 3D graphic on the right shows a radial plate CAM, which is used in the steam engine. A 3D drawn of the CAM is shown in the figure C4B below, okay? The CAM is based on an Archimedean, Archimedean spiral, which allows for rapid fall of the inline knife edge follower. Draw the given cam profile and plot the follower displacement diagram with one anti-clockwise rotation of the cam. Uh, in the displacement diagram, use the distance of 12 mils and each 30 mil interval. So, most of the cam questions I have up on uh, this channel have been where they give you the displacement diagram and you have to figure out then the cam from that, figure out the displacement diagram. Often it comes up where they give you the cam, so you have to draw the cam itself. So, start off few measurements there, the camshaft is 18mm in diameter, the nearest approach is 18mm and then the highest point then will be the 72mm. So marking the centre zero part points A and B first and then we can go about doing the drawing. Um, I'm just going to work off in the centre of the page and we'll figure out where to put the, the station jargon after that. Okay. So let's mark in our crosshairs for the center of for the center of the cam. So this is the center. Oh, we have point A and B. Then so we have eighteen mil. And then we have from there 72 mil. So that gives us point A and point B. Okay, so let's draw in that uh, diameter 18. Diameter 18 camshaft. Now I'm going to draw them strong just because there's nothing going in above it, so maybe it's a good basis to start off from. The cam is traveling what direction? Uh, so the cam is traveling anti clockwise. Alright, so. Traveling in this direction. That means if this center line here is your zero degrees where we're starting off from, the first point it will meet will be to the right hand side here. So let's divide it up 360 to get a few reference lines. So let's work on the spirals first, okay? Then we can figure out where the space and is going and so on. So the spiral is traveling from A to B. So Archimedean spiral means if it travels from A to B and it's doing a full revolution, then we need to divide up A and B into 12 equal segments. So let's divide it up down here to the right, seeing as the spiral is going above it and the cam is going above it. So to divide up the line AB to equal measurements, this is junior circle construction so line down any angle mark 12 equal measurements now I'm going to do nice small ones using the ruler because the compass won't keep a nice small length for me so twelve equal measurements so I'm going to go with five minutes so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12. Join the last one back to B. And copy that angle then. Sorry, copy that angle then back to the line AB for the rest of the points. Oh, that's my point there. 
And what you're going to do now is you're going to end up with 12 equal segments between the line A and B. Okay, so let's roughly put in some simple little measurements there now. So let's we'll call that point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and you're left with B. Now an Archimedes spiral, so starting off at A, what happens is if it's equal measurement, so it's a full revolution, so that's twelve segments, so each segment here represents one of the Divide up divide the lines here to 30, 60, 9. So if we rotate one down to the first line, give us the first point on the spiral, two to the 60 degree line, three down here to the vertical line, and so on. So by putting the pin at the center of the camshaft, my lead at the first mark there rotates down, and that gives me my first point on the spiral. So continue with that. So each segment gives you a point on the spiral. Now you don't have to draw them all around like this, just get the height to bring it up. Okay? Join them all in freehand lightly to get the spiral. So because it's an inline knife edge follower, it means you don't have to worry about putting in a radius up here or uh, a tangential line to find the outline of the cam. So join those all freehand lightly and once you've done that you can go over it strong so you can see the cam properly. Now it's rotating anti-clockwise, so that means this line here is our zero degrees. Next one is 30, so that's the first line it meets, 60 degrees, and so on. Alright? So I'm gonna draw my spacement diagram out here to the right hand side. So I'm just gonna bring top one here, that's zero, over to the right. I'm gonna start out here so that I'm out of the way of the cam. And it said use 12 mil for each interval. So again, we have 12. So actually, we'll see match with the compass. 12 mil. So that's 30 mil. And then you continue on. So that's 30, 60, 90, and 20. So in this case, you're working backwards. So but normally you do the displacement diagram and then after that you find your cam. In this case, you found the cam and now you need to put in the displacement diagram. So this is the height for our zero degrees. And this is the height for our 30 degrees. And what you do is you swing that, remember working back, swing it around the center up to your top line and bring that straight across here to figure out the height on the 30. Okay, and you continue on. So there's going to be a big drop, so this is not going to be the bottom part of our space and diagram, but we'll put that in later on. So next height is 60. Now they're all equal measurements, so let's See, we can always just put in, doesn't matter, we'll keep going as it is. But because they're equal, you could just keep marking them up, but we'll keep drawing them in as we see fit. So that's the height on the 60. Then 90 is point B. 
Swing that all the way around. And bring that across. That is point B there. And A is on the same line right back down again around. So we're going to put in A as well. So bring A, swing it around, and bring it straight across. And see the drop between A and B. So that means now when you start bringing down these lines, it's only going to rise again. That's going to be the lowest point. But we bring them straight down just so we put into the space for diagram. So this is also the height for A, so that's point A there. Okay, and move on. So the 120 is this height here. Bring it around. And it's the same thing with all the points. So that is for the 120. So this point here, this height, swing it around, bring it over. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward through this. But it's exactly the same as all the other points you've done. Now, because they're all equal measurements, what you end up with is roughly it should be straight lines. So let's see if they line up. Yep, pretty much. So let's draw that in strong. That is our displacement diagram. Okay, so this full height of the displacement diagram is that point B there is the highest point. A is the lowest, so it should be going up to there. So I put that a bit too close to the cam, but don't worry about it. And that's your displacement diagram done. Okay, so that is the Archimedean spiral cam and then the space and to go along with it. So the first point was our zero degrees here and that was the height of it. Then you had 30, 60, 90, but there's a massive drop, it's a straight drop down from B to A. And B and A are on the same 90 degree line, so therefore that's how far down the uh, knife edge powder went. Dramatic fall and then steady pace then again up to our height for the zero degrees. So as always, hope that helped. Uh, if it did, leave a like. And um, if not, leave a comment. Let me know what could improve the videos. Okay? Thanks for watching and good luck.